right, let's get started. So step one, exfoliate your lips, especially if your lips are feeling chapped or super dry. This is very important before applying a lip stain, okay? Then you can just rinse off if necessary or just pat on it to make sure it's dry. Step two, apply the lip stain. And what I like to do, especially if your packaging is new, just open and close it a few times so you get some air in there. The more you use it, the better the formula gets. So if it's the first time using it, just open and close it a little bit. And then you can start by applying a thin layer on your bottom lip, starting in the center and a layer on top. And ideally just wait about 30 seconds to a minute before reapplying anything on top, okay? I really don't feel like I need another layer, but sometimes I do apply two layers, but make sure you wait at least 30 seconds to a minute before applying it again, okay? Step number three, if you want it less matte or more radiance, you can add the 24 karat lip therapy for instant moisture and shine. So with my finger, I just come in and dab it on and look how beautiful that looks. And now step four, if you want to use it on your cheeks, which is one of my favorite ways to use it, you can dot it twice here or three times, up to you. I like to start with two and then I build it up. And with your fingertips, you just start blending it. Thing to note here, you can do it with your fingers or also with a brush. And once you start dabbing, you feel it drying up and giving you that beautiful flush. Now, if you do want to blend it with a brush, I have to say it will give you more color instantly. So I also wanna show you this option, okay? Um, you start dabbing the brush on, okay? Like this, and you can see that the color appears even more. It just makes you look super natural and healthy. So this is the application on top of makeup. But if you want, and it's something I also love to do, you can apply the lip and cheek stain on your cheeks straight to your skin, okay? And that is going to last all day long and it will still show through when it's under your makeup. So this is perfect for the days you want a very natural makeup on. On a clean face, apply the cheek stain and you can dab it with your finger or using a brush. And when using a brush with only one swatch of the product, it will go a long way and you get super rosy cheeks. So after that, if you want to conceal, you can come in with a lightweight foundation or concealer and just even out your skin. And as you can see, the stain will still show up and look super rosy. Then after that, just to finalize the skin, if you want a little bit of glow, extra glow, just come in with a highlighter. And this highlighter is also Ella Luz, which is coming soon. But come in with the highlighter. If it's a rosy undertone, even better. And my skin is looking fresh, healthy, and super lightweight. I hope you guys like this quick tutorial and I will see you soon.